So now let's look at the first order and look at the lifetime and understand do our unit economics and LTV to CAC ratios make sense? So let's start with just the first order. So one customer places their first order. So here the revenue is just basically the average order value from that we already calculated times one order. It's 138. And we just got the product cost and the fulfillment cost, again, from our unit economics. And so the contribution margin is 100. And we know that the CAC that we spent to get one person to make their first order is $97, because we calculated that right here in the CAC section. And so someone makes their first order, we invest $97. So overall, basically the ratio of contribution margin to CAC, so this is called the contribution margin CAC ratio, is 1.02 on the first order. And so from a profitability standpoint, we actually did eke out $2 of profit on that first order. And so you might say, well, that sounds that doesn't sound very good. But if you know that customers end up making on average basically one more order over the next six months, it changes the math a lot. And so now let's think about, rather than the first order, the full customer lifetime. So we know that one customer over their lifetime is purchasing 1.98 orders. Now it could be that by month seven or month eight or month nine that this number even gets a little bit higher, but just in the interest of being conservative, we're saying, okay, no 1.98, that's the data that we have, that's what we're going to use. So now what you do is you take basically the AOV, but you multiply it by 1.98. So we're just grabbing the AOV from up here. And so now we say, wow, one customer isn't spending 238, they're spending 469. So we do the same thing with the product cost. We do the same thing with the fulfillment. So the contribution margin over the customer lifetime is 197. And this is actually what's called the customer lifetime value. It's the total lifetime contribution margin of a customer. And so did we spend any additional money on marketing to get this person to make their subsequent orders? Probably not. So in this situation, we're assuming the CAC basically stays the same. We got them to make that first order, and then they just return through our email list, et cetera. So now we say we, you know, we put in $97 of marketing, and we made back $197 of contribution margin. So the contribution margin to CAC ratio is actually 2.02, .02, and we made $99 of profit on the customer. So if that is the dynamic, then our business is profitable on every single order. We just have to wait for a little bit for customers to come back and make their subsequent orders.